फ्रेंड्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ट्री स्ट्रक्चर वेक्टर क्वांटाइजर ओके एज वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स दैट इज इन एल बी जे एलगोरदम इज यूज टू डिजाइन द कोड बुक ऑफ अ वैक्टर क्वांटाइजर सो वी कैन इंट्रोड्यूस दिस स्ट्रक्चर टू ऑर्गेनाइज दैट कोड बुक विच वी जनरेटेड बाय द एल बी जे ऑर्गोरिदम सो इन दिस वी ऑर्गेनाइज आवर कोड बुक इन सच अ वे सो इन सच अ वे दैट it is easy to pick which part contain to pick which part contain the desired output vector okay so in this we in this we see that this is one of the approach that how we organize that code book so that it is very easy to pick that on only that part which contain or which find the closest value for the desired output vector okay so there are two conditions in the tree structure vector quantizer one is if we have a vector quantizer into two dimensional which is symmetrical and another one is uh, whether uh, another one is non symmetrical so first we discuss about if the vector quantizer is symmetrical so in case of symmetrical this means if we uh like this 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 so uh, symmetrical means that we have a real mirror image of the matlab means that the output point in each quadrant like this we have a output point like this in this quadrant so we have a same mirror image for this output point like this so in the case of symmetrical the output points in each quadrant are the mirror image of the output point in the neighboring quadrant okay so this for the symmetrical case the output points in each quadrant are the mirror image are the mirror image of output points in the neighboring quadrant in the neighboring quadrant but this is a case when the quantizer is in the form of symmetrical so because of the because all the quadrant are the mirror image of the neighboring quadrant the closest output point to a given input point to the given input uh to the given input will lie in the will lie in the same quadrant as the input itself okay so because of the mirror image the out the closest output point to a given input will lie in the same quadrant as the input lie in the that quadrant so therefore we only uh, here in, in case of symmetrical we need we only need to compare need to compare the input to output points that lie in the same quadrant that lies in the same quadrant which reduce the number of comparison by a factor of 4 so because of this reason the number of the number of uh, comparison uh, is reduced by a factor of 4 means means that this approach can be extended to Uh, l dimension where the sign of the l component of the input vector can tell us in which of the 2 to the power l uh, input lie which in turn will reduce the number of comparison 2 to the power means if we have a uh, l dimensional vector then we have uh, the uh, the number of which is reduced for the comparison is 2 to the power l okay so this is this approach is uh, work well when the output point are distributed in the symmetrical order but if the tree structure are in non symmetrical order okay if the tree structure are in non symmetrical order then in that case we divide the set of output points 
So the point is that we divide the set of output points into two groups. Into two groups. That is group 0 and group 1. This is for the case when it is of non-symmetrical. Okay. And assign to each group and we assign each group and we assign each group a test vector such that the output points in each group are closer are closer to the test vector assigned test vector assigned to that group to that group uh, then to the test vector then to the test vector assigned to other group group so in this case if the total number of number of output points for example is k so we need we this approach uh, will make a k by 2 plus 2 comparison instead of k comparison in case of non symmetrical because we divide the whole group into two that is group 0 and group 1 so how it works we discuss with the help of an example okay we take this example in the tree structure that we have a uh, test vector we have a vector we assign it as 1 and then is the right side is 0 then we further subdivide it into 1 1 and 1 0 then again we further subdivide it into triple 1 and 1 1 0 for this again we assigned as 1 0 1 and this 1 0 0 similarly for this we assign 0 1 and 0 0 this is 0 0 uh, 0 1 1 and right hand side is 0 1 0 for this the left hand side is 0 0 1 and right hand side is 0 0 0 so how it works see here uh, this is a case for the non symmetrical okay so this process can be continued by splitting the output points in each group into two group as 1 and 0 and assign a test factor to this subgroup so the group 0 will be split into group 00, 0 and 0, 01 which associated the te test vector labeled as 00, 0 and 0, 01 similarly for the group 1 which would be split into two groups that is 10 and 11 which have a associated test vector labeled as 10 and 11 suppose the result of the first set of comparison was that the output point would be searched for the group 1 so it does not have to be uh, searched in this vector it only to, you have to find in the this group 1 vector so the input will be compared to the test vector for 10 and then 11 if the input was close to the test vector 10 then the output point is grouped into the 10 otherwise in the into the 11 so we can continue this process by successively dividing each group output point into two until finally we get the if the number of output power, uh, uh, we find the number or if we the number of output point the power of 2. So the label inside each node this is a label of the test vector that we compare the input against. So this tree decides uh, this tree decision gives how we uh, analyze or how we uh, find the closest match or how we organize our code book in a very short method or very in a structured method. So this decision, this type of, this tree type of decision is what gives tree structured format, tree structured vector, quantizer, which is called as tree structured quantizer vector. Okay, so see here, by with the help of this quantizer, we can reduce our number of comparison because if we have to find out the closest value for the test vector, closest value for 110. So I have to know that 
if I am, I'm finding for the 1, 1, 0, so it, I have to compare only for this vector. We discard all these values. So the number of comparison for this value will be reduced. So again, we just pass this value to this side and compare which value is the closest value. So there is a one important point is that we have pruned tree structure vector quantizer. So what do you mean by first of all, what do you mean by pruning? So removal of a subgroup, pruning means removal of a subgroup is called pruning. So how, how we are pruning here? As we already discussed that if we have a test vector called 110, so I have to compare in one vector, not in the two. So I am at that time I am discarding this. I am removing removal of this group, some subgroup. So this is called a pruning. So when we have once we have a built a tree structured code book, we can by this we can improve improve its rate distortion performance. By carefully selected the subgroup and removal of that subgroup is called pruning. So pruning will reduce the size of the code book and hence also the rate. Okay, but the pruning output point from the code book has an unfortunate effect of removing the structure. Okay, so in the tree structured vector quantizer, we can improve its rate distortion performance by removing carefully selected subgroup which is not be uh, beneficial for comparison. And removal of that subgroup, it's called as a pruned tree structure or pruning method, which is called as a pruned tree structure vector quantizer. I hope you understand this type of, uh, this approach. If you have any query, then you can ask in our comment section. And uh, if you like our video, then please subscribe our channel and share to your friends, to your classmates. So keep watching our video. Thanks for watching.